Hey all, it's Eric Seidel from Short. And I'm here with another update. If you haven't heard of us, we're Flutter for Business. Uh, the first product we built is Code Push for Flutter, which allows direct, over the air, instant updates to all your Flutter apps in the field. And I know you haven't heard us from us in a while, uh, but that's because we've been a little busy. Uh, we've been keeping to our two releases a week cadence, and then also, of course, supporting a ton of customers who have come in for our Android Code Push product. Um, but the exciting news today is that we now have Flutter Code Push for iOS working. And I want to show it to you. Um, so to preface the setup a little bit, uh, you can see us on the right-hand side. Uh, I have Visual Studio Code and a physical iOS device running a release mode Flutter app. I've just taken the Flutter counter app and I'm running it here. Um, but instead of building with Flutter build release, I built it with Shorebird release. Uh, which substitutes in our updater um, to allow you to update your Dart code in the field. Um, so, yes, uh, so let's go ahead and do an update. And we're going to go and uh, let's do some changes here. So Shorebird can change any line of Dart code um, that is in your app. And we're going to go ahead and change this from blue to brown. And we're going to say Shorebird. Uh, update. Great. And now we're going to go ahead down to Shorebird and we're going to run our patch command, which will go ahead and build this. And this will take a little while, let Xcode do its thing. And while that runs, let me tell you a bit about what you're seeing. Um, so as I said, Shorebird is a drop-in replacement for Flutter. We make it so you don't have to change a single line of Flutter code. All you have to do is insert Shorebird release instead of Flutter build release in your release process. Uh, and then once that's done, you are then able to uh, issue immediate over there updates to your users. And as I said, this is, exists and works today. We have this today in production for Android. Uh, and if you're interested in that, that's available at shorebird.dev. Uh, you can join our open beta for Android today. Um, the Android beta supports, of course, all Android devices built from any host. The idea and design with Shorebird is that it should work anywhere Flutter can work. Um, so uh, as I was going to say, uh, I'm making very simple changes today in this app, but Shorebird can be used to change any line of Dart code um, running across your app. The big use that we've seen folks wanting Shorebird for today is for fixing uh, you know, small bugs in production. Uh, it just happens, right? Something goes wrong in production, um, but now with something like Shorebird, you can honestly join the rest of, of all the large apps because all the large apps use code push of some form. Um, in being able to fix things for your users immediately rather than waiting weeks. So it looks like our build is done. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, let it go. This is, when I press yes here, it's going to take this patch that we've built and it's going to send it up to Shorebird's servers. And then now um, users obviously who are using the app are not disrupted in any way, but when they close the app, the next time they launch, uh, it's actually downloading silently in the background. Uh, it just takes a second or so. Uh, and then when they launch again, it now updates. And so it changes, as you see. Um, anyways, so uh, yeah, if you're interested in this, please come check us out at shorebird.dev. Uh, you can come hang out with us on Discord. We do pretty much everything in the public. Um, if you're excited for iOS support, you can either join our Android beta today uh, and obviously you will get immediately access, you will get immediate access to iOS as it ships in the coming weeks. Um, or you can sign up for our mailing list, uh, link to from shorebird.dev, and we'll let you know the moment that iOS support is ready. Anyways, I'm going to go get back to coding, uh, but please don't hesitate to reach out if we can help, and I'll uh, see you all soon.